and Justin, Canadians who love to travel and share their experience through videos. We flew from Canada a couple days ago and yesterday we set off for a 10-day road trip across Costa Rica. So far we've seen the beautiful Poas volcano, stopped at La Paz waterfall, tried the local foods, and dodged a few potholes on our way to La Fortuna before locking ourselves out of our Airbnb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did I mention he's scared of heights? <laughs> Today is going to be a jam-packed day, including a visit to the Areno Volcano National Park, walking across the Mystico Areno Hanging Bridges, and soaking in the natural hot springs. If you like our videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new content. Good morning from La Fortuna. Listen to the soundtrack. Up to a little, little, little tiny friend. Sorry if it jumps on me. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, put it under the windowsill and then just slide it over your. Oh! Hot <laughs> <laughs> <Pop> the specimen. <laughs> okay, really? This set. is a poisonous I... North African cricket. No. <laughs> Extremely rare in these parts. Okay. Okay, fella. Have a good life. In case you don't know this, Costa Rica is known for its coffee beans. So of course, when we got here, the first thing we did was to buy a coffee bag. And I really appreciate that the Airbnb so far have all had a coffee machine and filter. Today we had the idea to make breakfast at home because we're a little far from La Fortuna proper. So we got an avocado, eggs, butter, and bread. This morning we are heading to Reno Volcano. It's about 7.50, so not bad. The park opens at 8 and we are about a 35 minute drive away. Let's do this. We know so much Spanish. <laughs> no, it's because the card machine wasn't working. So we just got to the parking lot and there is one, two, three, four cars only. Four cars for one of the major attractions that this country has to offer. It's nuts. I don't know if it we're just early, but likely more that it's COVID and less travel. So fun fact about parking at a volcano is that they ask you to reverse out of all your parking, I guess for a quick exit in case you have to leave right away. So before coming here, we read a lot about the different parks and like you needed to hike some and some are extremely muddy if it's rained, all that. So we're gonna buy hiking boots, but then we're also trying to travel light with just to carry on. So we bought, what are these? Trail runners. So they are like running shoes, but they have little kind of nubs underneath like cleats. We have the same matching shoes, which is kind of funny. And the women's one come in like nice manly black. And then uh, the ones that they were selling for men are multicolored. First, we're going to go to the Selbo tree. It's apparently this 1200 year old I heard, tree. I heard 400. No, 1200 year old. Oh. Pretty sure. And it's massive. So that's a destination on the way. And then we're going to the first lookout point, which is the uh, Coladas. And then we're going to come back and go to the Mirador Principal Lookout. Initial thoughts? This is exactly what I pictured a jungle walk to be and I'm really excited that we don't have a guide to do this because it's like our own experience. Yeah, we're completely alone. Like we saw people in the parking lot so two extra cars came because we took about half an hour to do sunscreen and I don't I don't even know what else but the trees and the vines around you are, are towering like you can't even see outside of this path. It's groomed enough but you can see everything has fallen so yeah, I definitely want to wear closed shoes. Okay, we just got to the tree. Like it's right there. We see catch a glimpse of it, okay. and already it's, it's huge. Yeah, shockingly big. I'll try big. and go in front of it to give you perspective. Oh my god! <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> I don't even. It's a skyscraper. <laughs> wow. So this tree is 30 meters high and 400 years old. It's called the Arbol Seba Icapoc tree. 
I wonder how they know that it's 400 years. So Justin's flying his drone at the tree and there's a family that just like cautiously approaches us and they look completely freaked out and then they go, oh, it's a drone. They thought it was like a, a huge swarm of bees because it has like the same buzzing sound. Anyway, we all had a good laugh. It is starting to rain in the jungle. Really cool sound to it though. It's hitting all the leaves around us. You feel like you can't really hear anything else actually. Pretty sure that they make a white noise machine with this exact sound. Yeah. <laughs> I had read a lot of reviews on how you had to put bug spray in the jungle because there was lots of mosquitoes. So far, that is not true. I haven't seen a single mosquito here. Could be the time of day it's in the morning. Could be because we're in December, so it's not rainy season, but so far, so good, no bugs. Okay, so we're at the first of two lookout points that we'll be uh, seeing today. And this is the first one, Old Lava Flow. 1992, I guess there was an eruption in 1992 and Old Lava Flow. <laughs> Whew, like I'm getting my lunge workout in here. Cool, no more trees. Now we're getting the rain. Very foggy up here. That's not just a white sky, that's pure fog or clouds. Oh, I can breathe. It feels so nice. I feel like my lungs are getting a spa day. It's like humid, clean air. This is the path where the lava flowed. And now there's just a bunch of, a bunch of rocks left. So I don't think it's so much of a, a lookout point than it is like a trail that you're supposed to look at. Yeah, it's not like a crater. The reason why this sign is here is because it's hard to see, but behind me here is the Areno volcano. It's like your stereotypical <gasps> big mountain oh. volcano, but it's covered by the clouds because it's raining a little bit. Damn. Too. Yeah. Okay. So it starts like right here. Too bad. We've had a really good oh, view of it. Oh, that's how far we're going? That's it? Yeah. So it's all you. So after being at the National Volcano Arena Park for three and a half hours, when really we're supposed to be here under two hours, we're now heading to the Mystico Hanging Bridge. I don't really know what it's all about, but it was definitely on the top attractions list, so we are gonna give it a try. This is cute. Oh, much more commercial than the other hike we just did. Yeah, so this is the first thing that we do on this trip that's like privatized. It's not run by the government. They said it'll take an hour and a half to two hours to do this, depending on your speed. And judging that we just spent about 15 minutes at stop one of 20 on this trail, it'll take us closer to two hours. This one was called Rufus Gardens. It's like a mini hummingbird, a Rufus. It's super cute, it's like two inches long. We only saw two in this garden though, but might be nap time. It's definitely steeper than we thought, than I thought it was going to be. We keep climbing up and up so that when we get to the hanging bridges, I'm assuming it's going to be a great visual effect. I will be so high above this jungle. Well, funny you say that because it's right above you. Look. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's the first one, I think. But if you're somebody who doesn't do hiking. Or heights or heights they have these quick exit pathways so if you change your mind or oh, you're out of breath then you can just skip hanging bridge number one let's do it Woo. Oh. remember i said he's scared of heights oh. how you doing babe Good. okay <laughs> you sure oh, <laughs> Oh, boy. At least the sides are very high. Oh boy, I can't look to the side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is meant for kids and I think it's supposed to be relaxing, but the bridge moves a lot when you're on it. You did great. It's not, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> These things are pretty secure though, so I feel better. It is bolted to a rock and then that goes all the way to the bridge. Bridge number two. 
let's go. Get a sense of how much this is moving. It is absolutely nuts. And then you see directly below you, I'm at the highest point now, keeping it together. But you're scared of heights. There's always these handrails for you. Grab onto, feel secure. Third bridge. Also, right before getting on this one, you hear something like howling in the woods. So everyone's trying to see what it is. It's going like, woo, 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 woo. Maybe we'll see it from this. Wow, this bridge is high up. Holy shit. Yeah, this one's definitely, or it feels like the highest one. I think it's because it's crossing more of a deeper valley. So you can really get a sense of how high you are. It's beautiful. Really? Yeah, look, I mean, for scale, down over there, you see, what is that, another bridge that we did? Yeah, so we're that much higher now. I think that's the first one. that's touristic I'm always skeptical so I thought to myself okay we're seeing more jungle like it's gonna be all the same but it's not this one you're above the trees so it gives you that different perspective feels so good to change shoes you know that moment when you go from tight sneakers to aerated flip-flops yes that feels nice my feet are red they've been working hard all day so if you've made it this far into the video and I'm sure everyone can agree that we have earned a lunch. It is 2.30 and breakfast was a long time ago. Two vegetarian lunches. Okay, so this is called a Costa Rican lunch. Honestly, that's what it translates to. Um, so it has, actually I'm not sure what this is, noodles? And like a cheese sauce? An egg? Black beans, carrots, and I don't know what the other thing is. This cool little mound of rice. A little tortilla, plantain, and then more vegetables. We've made a new friend. Hi! Aww, so <laughs> we just finished our lunch and now we're heading to the free natural at Springs. It's really pouring down right now, but we're not gonna let rain take us away from any attraction. Okay, so we parked all the way here and you walk down the path away from Tabacon into this little area. Is there a gate or can we go? There's a fence, but it's just like the frame of a cup. Okay, so the hot spring is awesome. Like right across the street from this, there's two one of the most expensive ones but the nicest ones where it's like a, a privatized like hotel hot spring thing you can pay to go there and it's going to be really nice or you can walk down from the road across from the street and you'll see this beautiful majestic hot spring and it's hot the little jacuzzi that we're in right now it's comfortable like i'd say it's probably 85 degrees 90 degrees i remember my first beer Another benefit of coming to this free hot spring is that you can bring your own beer inside, you can bring your own beverages. They do have signs telling you to remember to take everything with you and not leave garbage. And I think people do listen because it is spotless here. We have another case of uh, the matching shoes. Okay. It didn't end with those trail runners. <laughs> Different colors though. So much current. Okay, so it's nighttime in La Fortuna after we spent time at the hot springs. We drove around for about an hour, no joke, in the dark and rain, <laughs> trying to find somewhere to eat. Finally, we found this place that looks pretty good. It's a little more expensive than where we've been eating. Um, I got the shrimp, rice, <laughs> and they all got a mushroom ceviche. Yeah, with plantain chips. Bon appétit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. When you can't find a shower. Hell, I might do the bag. Oh, ew. It's deodorant. You're putting deodorant on your bag. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the life. Wanna walk by? What? Oh, look at me. <laughs> Very important to get your nutrition in before you embark on a big, grueling hike. 